Hi there, it's Brian from iSpring, and today we're going to find out how to create a SCORM course in three steps. Step 1 is to make the course in PowerPoint, Step 2 is to publish it to SCORM, and Step 3 is to upload it to an LMS of your choice. For this demonstration, I'm going to use iSpring Suite, the PowerPoint add-in that lets you enhance your presentations with extra e-learning content and convert them to online courses. Let's start here with this completed course, and what I'm going to do is reverse engineer it to show you how it's done. Let's start with the title slide. As you can see, the standard template slide is a bit different than our final product, so I'll show you how to fine tune it. First, let's drag away this overlay and replace the background. Just delete the current picture, then click the icon in the middle, and browse for the file. Now, right click it and send it to the back and now drag the overlay back on top. Obviously, you're going to want to replace this text with the real title and description, and then add the Start button. The last thing we need to do on this slide is make the Start button a hyperlink, and I want you to remember this procedure because you're going to use it all throughout this course to make all the buttons interactive. Just go to the Insert tab, click Action, and choose the Hyperlink option. For this button, we're going to link it to the next slide, but this menu has a bunch of nifty options depending on what type of button you want to add. OK, now you know how to create this title slide, so let's delete the template and move on. Now I'm going to show you how to insert this character and speech bubble on slide 3. First, we'll go up to the character library, and now we can pick from a huge collection of character photos. I happen to know that this character's name is Roman, so I'll just type it in at the top. And we also want him looking straight at the camera and smiling. OK, this one looks good. Now we only need the top half, so I'm going to right click and crop off his legs to the waist. All right, now let's resize him so he fits the slide. Looks good. Now it's time for the speech bubble. Over here on the Insert tab, we'll go to Shapes, and find this callout right here. From the Format section, we'll get rid of the outline, and make it a white fill color, then go to the Text Options, and make the text dark. Now we can type in whatever we want, and drag this little point over here so it's pointing at his mouth. Obviously, this doesn't look quite as polished as the final product, but you've got the idea, so let's delete the rough draft. Now, finally, I'm going to quickly show you how to add extra items like quizzes and simulations to your course. Just scroll down to where you want to add one, and insert a blank slide. I'm just going to show you the quiz process as an example, because you'll actually see the same quick start window for all of these. If you want to find out how to make this stuff, there's plenty of Quizmaker and Talkmaster tutorials available. All I'm going to do right now is browse for my pre-made quiz and open it up, then click Save and Return to Course. And it's as simple as that. Now, at last, we're ready to publish to SCORM by clicking the Publish button on the toolbar. I'll just pick the LMS destination, check my Title and Output folder, and make sure Zip Output is checked. Then go to the Learning Course tab and select SCORM 1.2 from the drop down. I can customize the progress and completion settings if I want, and then go ahead and publish. Depending on the size and contents of your course, it may take a little while to publish, but it's usually pretty quick. Now it'll open up in a preview window, and I can open the folder to see my SCORM package. Usually, what I do now is hold the Shift key on my keyboard, then right-click and select Copy as Path. Then, when I go to upload it to an LMS, I can just paste the path directly to the file. Finally, you're ready to upload it to an LMS of your choice. Here I am on the iSpring website where we have a list of LMSs that are officially supported by iSpring. You can find a link to this page in the description below. We also have detailed video instructions on how to upload a SCORM package to the most popular LMSs like Docebo, Moodle, Blackboard, and more on our YouTube channel. Just find your LMS by typing the name in this box, or browse the alphabetical list. You can see compatibility ratings, 
partner and verified categories, and complete descriptions for each LMS. Thanks for watching! Now you know how to create a SCORM course in three steps. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.